Greetings everyone, hope you're keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex, and today, today we are here to check out this little chap right here, which is of course the highly anticipated Boxer the Robot. Now, during my research of Boxer the Robot, I've got to admit he really does look quite phenomenal. Now, of course, he won't have all the same features such as Cosmo or Vector the Robot has, but he does have one redeeming feature, and that is, of course, the price you can get him for. That's right, you can pick up Boxer the Robot here in the UK for around £65, which is a huge difference in price compared to other robots that are available. But will he be as good? Well, that is exactly what we're going to find out today. So we're going to start off with the usual unboxing, and then we are going to test him out. Kicking off with the packaging then, as you can see, it is a rather unique and quite cool design. I mean, it is just cardboard around the back and sides, but I do like what they've done here on top, which is a little window made of plastic, and there is Boxer ready and waiting to go. On the side here, you've got a picture of the box contents it looks like, and you've got obviously Boxer, a football, a little remote control, and some playing cards as well. And then finally on the back here, we've got Boxer, enormous play, tiny bot, and I just want to read some of these to you. Look at this, engaging personality and dynamic moods, remote control driving mode, gesture and touch control, and then finally game activating cards and interactive balls. So straight away, you can see this really does have quite a lot of features. Opening this up then, and uh, oh, and look at that there. <laughs> it's like a little mouse hole there with the ball hiding away inside. Let's see if I can just get it out. Okay then, so that is the ball that he obviously plays with, or the interactive ball, shall I say. Now it is just plastic, it's very light, feels almost like it's hollow. I don't think there's actually anything in there, but Boxer obviously can recognize it because apparently he does play with it. And then of course we have Boxer the robot himself, and you know what, he is surprisingly light, I've got to admit, and very, very micro. I mean, look at him, he is absolutely tiny, but I suppose in some ways that's actually a good thing. It makes him very portable. So if you wanna take him outside, take him somewhere to show him off, then yeah, you can just throw him in your pocket and do that. Let's just see what else is in the box here. Oh, a nice bit of sliding action there. Right, we've finished with that. To begin with, then we have, it looks like, the instruction manual and the interactive cards. Okay, so put them to one side. Let's just have a look at, at this. These are the games that he can play or the features that you can use with Boxer. And you've got a big selection here. Look, we've got football. We've got, I um, don't know what that one is. Then we've got a ping pong. Uh, that's the sensor where he can follow the line that you draw, which is quite cool. Uh, some kind of music feature. Then a tank game, it looks like. Driving, bowling. DJ and then a slingshot. So there really is a lot of replay value there. A quick look at the instruction booklet and as you can see it is quite thick but that's because it is multi-language. But look at that, that's, it's a nice colourful design in there. It shows you pretty much everything that you might possibly want to know. And then we have the USB charging cable and then this remote control and whoa, <laughs> that is small. I really do love how micro they have made this entire setup. And you know what, even though it is so small, I can imagine it's not going to take away any of the gameplay value. I mean, look at that, even just for ease of use, there's going to be no trouble controlling Boxer. And these little joysticks, they feel so robust, so I can imagine they're going to be quite responsive as well. So that's the unboxing done, so let's um, turn them on. Okay then, well he's definitely on now. Okay then, so as you can see he is just exploring around there by his own free will, I just want to add, because I am not controlling him with this, I have not connected him to an app of any sort, he is just literally doing what he wants. He just won't seem to stop, he just wants to just carry on being funny. I mean, I'm loving the little noises he's making, and he's quite loud as well, which I'm quite surprised. Let's just see what it's like to control him then. So if apparently if I press this button, this will activate the control mechanism inside Boxer. So if I press it now, oh, there we go, that's definitely been activated. And here we go. Whoa. Okay, that is 
I don't want him on two wheels though. <laughs> I can't get two wheels. Right. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Whoa. That is very, very responsive. Oh no. He just needs the slightest bit of touch and he responds. Whoa. Whoa. I love his little eyes as well. I'm just going to put that up to that camera there so hopefully you can see that a bit more to that way. And I'll bring up. No, go that way. Here we go. I mean, his little LED dot matrix, it expresses obviously his emotions, what he's feeling, or maybe what he's singing. That is so cool to control as well. And watch this. He fixes himself. And look at that. I mean, I'm just going to gently touch this here. Whoa. And there he goes. So it isn't really much pressure needed to control him. But that is so cool. Well, as much fun as it is controlling him, I think we should try out these cards and see how good these are. So we'll start off with the football one, I think. Now, as you can see, now leave the ball alone. <laughs> He's got these little uh, markings on the back of the card here and then these two little markings where you line up his wheels. So if you push the little button on the back, there we go. And then we line them up with this and he should go across. And he's recognized that. And then we set the ball up here. We'll put this somewhere and um, put it over here. And he uh, scored a goal. A sign of one then. Here we go. Okay then, so I'm going to try the driving card game now. So apparently, once this is activated, you can draw a circuit of your choice, of your size, as long as the thickness is around one and a half centimetres. And then he will follow it as though he is in an actual race. Now here is a circuit I have made earlier. And as you can see, it is pretty bad but hopefully he should have no trouble following it so come here you right okay that's now activated oh and he's doing it as well how's he gonna work that corner and he's done it I love the little engine noise that it makes as well. That is pretty awesome. Let's try another way then. Let's see if we can survive the horrendous drawing circuit going the opposite direction. Which he obviously can. So the next card we're going to try is this one right here, which apparently is a fortune telling game. Right then. So I can ask him a question now. Once the mode starts. Boxer, will I ever win the lottery? Oh, Boxer, will I ever get a new PC that is better than my current one? Again? I haven't even got anything positive to say. Now, I just want to quickly go over the app. Now, this is available from both Google Play and, of course, the App Store. And as you can see, it is very colourful. It has lots of game cards. But if you look closely, some of them are actually locked. Now, the reason for this is because of the amount of replay value that Boxer has to offer. Because the more you play and interact with them, then the more games actually become unlocked. So let's try one of these then. So you press and hold this for two seconds. And then I'm going to give him a bean burrito, I think. So there we go, that was just a quick example of Boxer the Robot in action. And as you can see, he is just quite literally off his head in some ways because he just likes to continuously go around and do his own thing. But on the plus side, you've got the added benefits of the control in case you want to control him, as well as the interactive playing cards if you want to play with him. He's very cheeky as well as very funny, but He's just a pleasure to watch. He really is. So maybe if you've got kids out there or you yourself are obviously interested in robots, then definitely get Boxer because he's just incredible. But before I go, if you've got any questions or comments you'd like to ask me about Boxer the Robot, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with the answer as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, of course, if you enjoyed this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. And don't forget to hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.